hello brothers and sisters welcome to my channel um, if you're new here and if you've been tuning in from the beginning welcome back to my channel still in the peace your sister in Christ your servant in the Lord Jesus Christ now um, I'm here I want to have a word with you I want to reveal to you what the Lord revealed to me I want to bring to you what the Lord has said to me what's happening in the hour in the spiritual um, in our community uh, section you will see I have a post there and I say that I will have to talk more about um, that revelation that I was writing down so it's something that uh, the Lord gave me a dream um, a few days ago I think two to three days ago um, but I hadn't yet understood the dream of uh, what it meant he hadn't yet interpreted it for me but I keep on um, asking in the spirit and as of the day of today as I was writing that to you uh, I was being moved by the Spirit of the Lord um, just to, to write down to take down and then I was inspired also to come uh, and do art and speak much because I felt like it is not way too enough I felt like um, somebody's not maybe understanding what uh, was being spoken at the moment maybe some of you want a little bit more of the inter of, of the explanation you know sometimes you can't explain that much uh, through words you know so it is by the spirit of the lord that i was writing um i was writing down that message that revelation uh it's not that i had already known about it but i just started uh tasting down the spirit of the lord was speaking Okay, and then I want to um, um, talk about it, um, and also as the Spirit of the Lord leads me, I'm not going to stay long here. I know many people complain that I record way too long messages, but uh, you have to also know that you have already known the truth. You have already heard the gospel. You have already heard the messages. So it is up to you. It's not about the person speaking much. It's just about you yourself presenting yourself before God believing in God and working in what was preached to you whether a person talks much or they talk less you have already heard the gospel you have already heard you already know what to do you see that and those that will always complain are the ones that are not um, serious about Jesus Christ because I know that with me when I was so thirsty uh, to be close with Jesus to have an intimate relationship with him I was so keen enough you know I wanted to always hear much about Jesus somebody talked to me this and talk to me it doesn't go read the Bible take the Bible read 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 sometimes I could uh, just leave my phone on uh, that that audio um, I leave that that um, the, you know the Bible app you can just um, turn in the the you just turn it on and then you just um, keep on uh, reading reading for you so you just be listening listening to the Bible yeah that's why maybe I can say it that way so I could just turn on like that the whole night like I don't want to even sleep I just want to sit and hear more I hear a person come and talk to me I first examine are you living a holy life, a, a life that's pleasing before the Lord? I will not let that person go. I want you to talk and talk and talk and talk. I just want to listen. I just want to listen more about Jesus. More. I could not care how much time is going. I could not care. Now, if you are in this category of people whereby you are bothered if a person is talking way too much or a person is talking, if a person doesn't talk too much, then how are people going to be saved? You know, Jesus had to speak much. He spent most of the time walking out, going to um, to um, many uh, locations, location after location, location after location. And he's parking where they, 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 they sat for such a long time in the way that uh, the sun was even going down and they hadn't even eaten. Remember when he, he, fed, the, the, he fed the 5,000 people, you see. They sat until the sun went down and they, they, until... Um, they went hungry you see that so it is not about you to control the spirit of the Lord you are nobody to control the spirit of God you either take the message or you leave it however the message doesn't come for you it has come for the humble for the simple in the spirit 
It has come for those that are thirsty, not for you who feel a fool. You fool. You feel you fool. You don't need it. Then leave it for the rest. You see that? And as of this, as you fight this, you are fighting the one who is speaking through those people. You are not fighting that person. You are fighting the Spirit of God. May God have mercy on you. Okay. Uh, now, what I felt in the Spirit of the Lord is that um, many of you, some of you, um, you will experience a certain kind of shifting, a certain kind of change, a certain kind of motivation. There are people that haven't, you haven't seen for quite a long time that are going to travel from a, a, a distance and they will come to you with, with, with um, either good, good intentions or bad intentions. You see that? With either good intentions or bad intentions. With either to build you or to split you or to break you down. Some of which you know them. Some of which you do not don't know them. Some of which are your family members. Some of which are not. Some of which are men. That they call themselves men of God or women of God. Or you will be in a position where you're able to tune in and listen to these people, how they are teaching. And you will be in position to listen to these people. But at the same time, you will be easily convinced of their teaching. You'll be like, no, this is a woman of God. You'll be like, no, this is a man of God. But on the other side, you'll be like, ah, but really, it's like this in the Bible. My father says like this. He doesn't say like this. You see, it will seem like as if it's good. It will seem like as if it's real. It will seem like as if it's godly. But it is false. It's from Satan. It's from the enemy. You see that? I heard from the spirit of the Lord. There is the spirit of, of humiliation. There is a spirit of humiliation of humiliation Satan is using everyone even our family members even those that say I am a man of God I'm a woman of God he's everywhere the Lord was able to open my spiritual eyes by then when I was writing down that message for you and I was able to see how um, these people were presenting the message to the people. How these men were presenting the message. How they say, "I have been, I have, I have been um, in ministry for five, over five years, over six years, over four years." You see, and I know much about God. I have heard much about God. I've experienced much about God and the Holy Spirit. I was able to see all of this. Talking in a way that it seems convincing. Sorry, excuse me. In a way that it seems godly. You see? It looks godly. It looks real. But I could see in this in their spiritual. In their spiritual, their inner man is of darkness. You see this plastic smile. You see, you see that you've seen people who smile at you like as if they love you, like as if they like you, but they don't at all. Their hearts are very far. I was, I was, I was observing that. They were preaching to people. They were singing songs to them, sing songs like the way you see we worship the Lord. That holy worshiping. That holy preaching. You see? But it's like a humiliation. You know, like a person is just imitating you. You know, like a person is imitating you, see? But it's like they're just humiliating you. It seems like they're imitating, like they you know, like they're just imitating you. But on the other side, they're humiliating you. You see? That's what I was able to see there. When I walked on the other side, I went and found those two gentlemen. Now, this isn't a vision that the Lord gave to me. 
and the vision as th that I had, and as of here, when I was writing down, when he was re re uh, uh, giving all these words to me, I was able to see of how now they come together and they say, we have, we have done it. We have done it. We've released the spells in them. And now I try to have a conversation with them as like as if they were preaching. They're preaching the good news, the good gospel, the holiness. What, what um, God is pleased about a person to preach. Now, I'm, because I'm so much excited to hear much about Jesus, I ran to this man. And, yeah, you want to talk? You want to talk much? You want to talk more about Jesus? You know, can I testify with you? It's like as if, you know, it's like it's not their business. It's like that was not their business. You see, that's not their their position. You see that? You see, they were able to give me this image. It's like, no, we were just passing time there. That's not our position. That's not our work. That's not our business. Now they ignored me. You see, and then they started doing these signs of Illuminati, these kinds of signs of, of uh, satanic, these satanic signs and changing their faces and what. And you see, they, you see that? The spirit of humiliation. You might be having ministry. You might be leading your people. You might be planning to do something for God. But there will be someone that will come and discourage you. There will be someone that will come your way to encourage you. There is discourage and encourage. There is building and breaking down. That's what I see in the spirit. But it's all humiliation. The building is just for humiliation. And the breaking down also is for humiliation. I don't know how it's going to happen. But I just feel humiliation. Humiliation. They will be doing good in your eyes. But for only humiliation. Somewhere, somehow, your faith is going to be broken. They just, after breaking your faith, because Satan knows, Satan knows that, okay, these ones, there's nothing that can separate them from Jesus Christ. And they are already sealed. Their names are already written in the book of life. Now let's go and humiliate them. Do you see this? Let's go and humiliate them. That's when the Lord led me in the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 5. He said, this is what is happening. It's happening spiritually. The boosting. You see the boosting. You see? The boosting like as if you govern. You govern everywhere like you are everywhere. You see that bullying in school. You see that bullying in school. You know when like uh, you are new in college or school or what? You don't know anything or what? You don't, you, you don't be given a chance, an opportunity to speak or to do something or to de develop anything. You always humble like this. You isolate yourselves like this. You know, because those that were in that, um, in the college are all over everywhere. You see, their heads are just up like this. They're all over everywhere. They know everything. You know? They claim everything belongs to them. Now, those are those of this world. Those are those that belong to this world. And the ones that you see are humble, that, that are being persecuted in school, that are being bullied in school, are the children of God, are the Christians. And this is what is happening in the hour. This is what is happening in the spirit now. You see? It's what is happening. Whereby in, in college you have seen, they even take your books, they take your pen, they take your phone, they take what? They say you can't even go report, the, you know, you can't do anything to them. They say you can't even do anything. Some of which they even plan to do harm to you. You see? I want you to relate. This is how the Spirit of the Lord was, was breaking down for me, teaching me about this. You see? It's like, it's, 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 it's like, it is the way you see the newcomers in college, in school. We are like this. That's why you see we are being pressed down. They want you to go and do that, to take that. They want you to go and take that. 
You cannot do this, you cannot do that, you cannot do that without this. You see that? You cannot do this, you cannot do that, you cannot without this. You see that? Do you see that humiliation? It's happening spiritually, not only this, not only that, but also slandering. I don't know how I can explain, how can someone understand? I don't know how can someone understand? I know that by the Spirit of the Lord you will be able to understand this. That humiliation, where Satan was given authority to blaspheme, he was given a mouth to blaspheme at God, to blaspheme at God, and those that dwell before him, and to wage war against his children. This is the boosting, you see the boosting, the bullying, you see that. See what the Lord is saying to us. In, in the very months where the abomination that caused desolation was set up. In the very time of the 42 months. It was in that very time where the abomination that causes desolation. Where the children of God are scattered. Where they abolish this. There is no church. Without this, there is no church without this. You see this humiliation even in the house of God. There is no church, no, no church, no gathering without this. No church, no gathering without this. Do you see the humiliation in the house of God? You see? Do you see? Do you see that we are getting on that time, on that minute, on that hour, we close? With so much clothes. You see? Yes. Satan will do these things. He will do these things. But the Lord is still on the throne. Even where he boosts, the Lord is still on the throne. I saw men coming from underground. So boosting. So boosting. So boastful. And do it like do it like this. Do it like that. Do it like this. Do it like that. You see? And gathering among us those that were worshipping. Pretending like as if they're worshipping, they are praising. <laughs> you know, like the way people like the way people do worship, but on the other side it's just blasphemy. On the other side, it's just humiliating, you know. Humi you know that humiliation, how do I explain to a person to understand? I hope you do understand what I'm saying. What the Spirit of the Lord is saying to us. You see, is it that bullying in school? Why you deny to do this, you are denied to do that, is what is happening to us. You see, where some of you see, you get sick. You get this accident, you get that, you get that. It is happening spiritually. Just look at the way people get bullied in school. How they get bullied in school. Look at it and relate what the Spirit is saying. You see? But do not be too humble in the Spirit. Do not be too humble in the Spirit. There are those newcomers. Who are also so stubborn you try to bull them they will bull you back so now be be that let's be those that kind of category let's stand in that kind of category I heard in the spirit in a way by in a way by even those those that have been in college reach a point of taking what belongs to these newcomers, stealing from them, stealing from them because they cannot speak up. They are afraid. They are afraid. They are afraid. Because the ones that are opposing them, 
are more than they, they are, more than their number. But the Bible says, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. You see, do not allow Satan to quench your spirit because his aim is to see that you can't pray completely. You come fast completely. Yes, the, the, the power of the children of God is being broken, but not completely. When you read in Daniel, you will see, Angel Gabriel said, a little help will be given to them. Just a little help will be given to them. Meaning, much efforts, the much effort has to come from us. That's why you see, uh, today you can't pray, or that time you can't fast. You see, it's very heavy. You see, it's very heavy to fast, very heavy to pray. You say, what is going on? What is going on? I've never seen this. I've never been like this before. And then over, uh, over a sudden, after a few days, you see, after a few days or some time, you gain your strength now. You see? You gain your strength. Now you can fast. Now you can pray. Now, you see, even your dreams get to be stolen. Your dreams get to be stolen. You say, my, I dreamed this, but I, don't have, I do not remember my dreams anymore. Why don't I remember my dreams? Why don't I remember my visions? It's happening spiritually. Do not let Satan take your... Let him take your, your, your house, your car, your money, whatever it may be. But your spiritual, your inner man, do not let him touch him. Let him weaken you today, but tomorrow don't give him, don't give him time. Even when he is trying, give him a difficult time. Even when the scriptures have to be fulfilled, do not also give up. Do not also give up. Have strength. And ask the Lord, Lord, look, I am weak to pray, I'm weak to fast, I'm weak. Do not give any space, any chance. You see? And at the end of it all, the victory belongs to the children of God. You see? That's all I had for us. And may the peace of the Lord be upon you. Um, check in the description button below. you find the link to our new channel where we're going to be streaming uh, throughout our fasting from the uh, 26th to the 31st. Um, join this fasting as we press on the Lord, our Master. To keep on holding us, to keep on holding us in his righteousness until the day he comes back. Even when the scriptures have to be fulfilled, let us hold on tight. You see? Asking him not to let go. If there is an opportunity for you to fast, fast. If there is an opportunity for you to pray, pray. Sometimes you do not have to fight. Sometimes you do not have to fight. Sometimes you just have to declare. Sometimes you just have to claim it. Sometimes you just have to take it because you yourself are a high priest. You have the power. You have the authority. Sometimes you don't need to fight Satan. You don't need to. You don't need to. You don't need to engage in the spiritual uh, warfare, in the battle. You just have to command. You just have to say it. Take it. He's very small and little than you are. You are greater than your opposer, your opponent. Put your trust in Jesus and do not waste any single minute. Read the Bible often. Pray often. Fast often. You try today, you fail. Tomorrow, don't give any space. Okay? Peace of the Lord be upon you and I'll see you. Bye.